Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Peta Philosophs City Skylines videos. Today it's a little bit of a different video. I have managed to come up with I think what is a pretty good highway uh, network design and I would like to share that with you. I have already shared it on the Steam Workshop. It's called Peta Philosophs Highway Prototype by Spectre. Of course that's my Steam name. You can view it in the workshop. I have posted some screenshots and this video will be also part of this workshop entry. Uh, you can subscribe and then you're going to be able to play that save file in your uh, save games right here. You just need to click it on once you download it. You can then load up the game and I will show you how exactly does this look like. So what is the whole point of this design? Well, uh, for example, if we start off from here, you enter the tile and then you reach this four-way uh, interchange on the highway. From here, you can either go into this part or this part. Now, these are two separate parts of the city and each has an entrance uh, that comes off the highway that then curves to the edge of the map and then goes again to the edge of the map and again and again and again then it goes above th the way it came in goes over and this becomes the exit out of the city which also takes you around the map and only then can you exit out through here the uh, way to get your sims inside into the city is to use the highway ramps and what exactly is the big advantage of a design like this? Well, the big advantage is that the highway ramps uh, are going to make the cars use the lanes properly. They're going to use the rightmost lane if they want to get out of this highway and also if they want to get in. But if they do not want to turn anytime soon, they will keep using this middle lane. If they want to uh, go very far away, they're going to use the leftmost lane and you can have the exit of the highway and the entrances every so often like this and you can keep doing that through the entire city and the trick is you won't actually see people trying to just get into the first one and then go through your city's network because these roads that you're going to have it connected to are the one ways and they have very slow speed or for the teams to drive it's like 40 while the highway is 100 and they will use the highway until they reach a point where they want to exit even though that exit may be that they have to go through all the way here then through the uh, this part here go over this bridge and only exit for example here of the highway this is actually fine by them because this way is actually faster because the road allows them to go faster. So you can have just entrances and exits off of this highway at any point onto these uh, wide roads. And this is also with an uh, added benefit because the uh, size of this road can pack a lot of traffic in itself and you are not going to have people just jamming here in the interchanges trying to get into your city through the first few uh, off ramps. You can have off ramps on the entire part of this uh, highway road that's inside your city. And the great part about this is that it's so modular that you can just keep on building parts like this. You see, I have this one here and this one here. Then over here, again, I have this four way interchange, and then I have a part that's over here, a uh, part that's over here, and then a big part over here, and another one that goes through here like this. You have just this three-way interchange here for this part. I did <laughs> play around with this thing over here because I wanted to see how would uh, it be possible to make an interchange on top of a bridge. So what I did was to uh, leave the bridge like it was when the map spawned. But then I took roads uh, underneath this bridge and they are still bridges. They're just underneath this one. And then I pulled the uh, highway ramps off and on until I connected everything uh, and it has the proper amount of highway connections and the ramps that will allow it to act as an interchange although it might not be as pretty but it works you can actually use it so I have an interchange on water 
I would like you to use this save and test this network design as much as you can and I would actually like you to break it. I would like you to find a spot where it's going to create traffic that's uh, not possible to play with. I would like you to find that spot so I could try and fix that with some additional ideas. So thank you for watching. Uh, you can subscribe to this mod in the Steam Workshop. It's called Pedophilosophs Highway Prototype and uh, you can post comments about it either on the Steam Workshop or on this video's comment section. Thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more.